came in the, it was about 40 of us got off the bus. The the, the mail the mail room cracker came in there and everybody who been to, to the lock know who I'm talking about. That cracker came in there, that cracker had a straight face. Looked like Al Fouch. That cracker said, hey, look, I'm gonna tell y'all something. He, he talking low. He say, hey, look, we, we was all in that motherfucker just, I wasn't talking, but it was a lot of niggas in there talking. You know what I'm saying, back and forth. You know what I'm saying? I just know that I just got into these niggas from D.C. and how this shit gonna play out because in my mind, I'm thinking like, this nigga just left me on the yard, homie, so I ain't expecting a bitch to be rocking with me. Right. But, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, damn, how this shit gonna play out because I'm going to this yard. I ain't, I ain't never finna check in. So, uh, the, the cracker walk in, that cracker say, hey, look, he say, uh, I'm gonna tell y'all something, man, I've been, I've been, I've been here, I'm a, I'm a convict. That's what the cracker say. I've been here for, you know, 15, 16 years. He's like, I'm a convict. He said, I'm going to tell you like this. If you ain't got your paperwork, don't go out there. They kill it. He said, if you do got your paperwork, get you a knife. I got my paperwork. He was like, I'm a, the, the cracker say, I'm gangster. I can walk on any yard. So everybody in the, in the whole thing go to live because I ain't never heard the police talk like this. It's a, Police cracker like, yeah, yeah, I'm a convict. Get what the cracker say? Right. I'm a convict. I got my work. So he like, we everybody go to laugh. He said, uh, y'all laughing. You know what I'm saying? He said, just don't go out there if you ain't got your paperwork. Close the door and lock that bitch. So niggas go to look around. So now a lot of these niggas done been around. They ripping and running. Bit done been ran up and all that shit, though. Mm-hmm. The loudest nigga in the motherfucking, um, in the holding tank was a nigga from D.C. He laughing and talking and joking about all of that shit, though. When them crackers went to calling our name, boy, it was about 13 of us hit the yard. Everybody else checked in. Out of 40 motherfuckers, about 13 of us hit the yard now. Yeah. So so they give you your bed card and you walk out that bitch. Soon as I, this is what I noticed. A yard and C yard, A yard and C yard is wide open. Soon as you come out the lieutenant office, you 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 literally own the yard. You, you literally I'm on the yard. So when they, the cracker give us our shit, open the door and let us out. Ain't nobody escort us nowhere. So as I'm walking with my bed roll and shit, I see the whole pound shift. Niggas on the softball field, football field. Niggas, niggas rushing because it's a new bus. Niggas coming to, coming to, you know what I'm saying, get their man. Niggas coming to, you know what I'm saying, catch a nigga slipping. Niggas coming to, niggas coming to, you know what I'm saying, wrap arms around their homies and see who they know. Right. You know what I'm saying? So as I'm walking, I just see the whole yard shift. You got two two yards rushing at the door. And them niggas, them niggas running. And I'm saying, damn, 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 you know how a nigga, when you get there, a bitch already know you coming. You right. know what I'm saying? You got niggas that already know you coming. And it just so happened that it was homeboys that was there that was at Coleman with me who hadn't been shipped, but they knew who I was. And so as I'm walking, my shit kind of thumping, but bitch, I'm gonna walk into this fire. Cause this, if it's going down like this, this is what it's going down like. Right. So, but I'm, I'm like, damn, niggas, I know these niggas ain't just running. Out of them 13 niggas, man, only about four of us ended up staying on that yard, homie. Them other niggas turned around when they seen the crowd rushing at them, start beating on the door and checked in. There was only about four or five of us that hit the yard. The rest of them niggas went back to the shoot. They thought the niggas were coming to bring us a move. But niggas coming over there still they home. Them niggas were writing kites, trying to get back out the hole and all that shit done. So right. out of 40 motherfuckers, about only five of us made it to the yard. That's what the penitentiary yard was like back then. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, 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 you know, it was like the whole, it was a couple of homies, you know, niggas, niggas yelling out my whole government on some joke shit. You know how niggas be, you know what I'm saying? Niggas see me wrap on around and give me care package and shit. And, right. Um, yeah, like, like. But that was a different. That was a different experience from from Coleman and Pollock, though. Yeah, Pollock. Pollock was Pollock was well. I, I understood what the homie Kibo was saying when he said that. Then it was a it was a stressful spot. I got into it with a lot. Like majority of my work in wreck was with homies. I used to tell homies when they after I got the hang of doing time in them USPs. What I used to tell the homies is, boy. Get that work. See, Miami niggas, and I know niggas from Miami, they all, they all hate the hitters. But boy, them niggas, if a nigga had a reputation, them niggas, them niggas used to try to put circles around 
the rats from where they're from and try to highlight rats from us. Because, you know, they got a habit of saying, shit, I'm from my, I ain't from Florida, I'm from Miami. That's their thing. And that shit used to burn me up because them niggas used to act like they stopped making gangsters in Miami. And, and it was like, hold on, bro, like, bitch, I, bitch, I just went to trial. Bitch, I'm hard. I ain't ducking no wreck. Bitch, I just went to the hoop with these like, all my paperwork clean. The fuck you mean, like, what that supposed to mean? You, don't get me wrong. You had some real solid niggas from Miami who didn't play that shit. You know what I'm saying? They was on homie time, real homie time for real. And um, but but you know it was it was it was circles within circles. And me, I was the homie that was vocal about it. Cause you got other homies from 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 all parts of Florida who be like, "Yo, nigga from Miami," don't, but they whispering the shit. But you got Miami niggas, they acting that like we'll be on the yard and the Florida car be over here. Miami will go stand over there and, and, and form their own little, you know what I'm saying? It's like, to, to let a motherfucker know. And it's like, it's always unspoken. And I was like, oh, that's what them type of time them niggas on? Like, I go over there and I say something like, damn, my nigga, like, like, we over here, we got the bench, we in the shade, my nigga, like, y'all niggas would rather come over here and stand in the sun, my nigga, just, like, we got the bleachers. Like, like y'all the niggas, y'all, like y'all is to stand apart from a nigga to let a nigga know that y'all ain't really. And you know they had these vain ass excuses for why they used to do that, but it was obvious. You know niggas from D.C., niggas from Philly, New York, niggas and they get around niggas they're like yeah, niggas from Miami. Don't. That's one thing I didn't like about the Florida Cup. And it, 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 that called division. Exactly, but see, niggas from everywhere outside of Florida know if you want to, if you want to. If you it ain't it ain't no car more divided than the Florida car, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like nigga, 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 or play games with a nigga. Like boy, well, yeah, nigga from Miami say. And I was one. I, I used to tell the homies, but you a, a nigga from another car don't come to niggas from Florida and tell them about their homeboys for shit. But for some reason, niggas talk about talk about. We talk about our homies like dogs to niggas from other cars to let them know that we divided. Niggas knew who to try and who had them been isolated. A nigga might be getting set. Nigga, I, and a lot of niggas isolated themselves. I watch, I watch the homie Pat do it. Jamaican Pat. I watch Pat. He used to isolate. He'll catch set and and isolate himself and, and, and go to feeding other niggas. Like you know, I never really gave a fuck about what a nigga had. But then a nigga walk off. Now you really want a nigga to you want to rally the troops behind some shit that you done a, a, a situation you done caused. So. You know, bottom line, you know what I'm saying? We was we was real divided, man. We was real divided. And that's what I, I never understood that I never liked. And it, and it never corrected itself, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. uh, from the from the USP to the FCIs, bro. But uh, I went through more term oil at Pollock, but I ain't going to lie. I wouldn't trade the experience for nothing in the world because it taught me a lot about trust, love, and loyalty, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it taught me a lot, bro. I got niggas from 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 those from from that compound alone. I got my four niggas that I still in contact with this day, and I left I left Polak in two thousand, the end of two thousand thirteen, like yeah, like November two thousand thirteen. You know what I'm saying? I was there for five years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's some, what's some of the things you see went down at Polak that made you realize it was a different y'all? Was Polak y'all different from Coleman y'all on the violence too? Oh, fuck y'all. Yeah. I, I ain't no question. Like, 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 I'm talking about, and, and, the, and the police back back then, like, the police wasn't checking for, for for violence, like, of a bit. Like, like, I used to tell niggas when I, when I finally made it to the FCI, like, they're, they're, they're asking nigga to go up top because the nigga might be fucked up, nigga might be on ass or whatever. They're asking nigga, you know what I'm saying? They'll tell you, hey, man, you got to go up. And a nigga really, like, lingering around, doing this and doing that. And, you know, he might go up. And, and the nigga be like, yo, that nigga got ran. I'm like, nah, y'all don't even understand the definition of being ran up. You know what I'm saying? Like, when a bitch got ran up, bitch was literally running up out of their shoes and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. nigga was literally holding ass, coming up out there, bitch done dove in the, in the police, in the officer station. Nigga in that bitch, paying his ass up. Nigga, like, niggas is really, like, getting ran up, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, what y'all call getting ran up, y'all just, y'all asked the nigga uh, uh, to go up top and he complied, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that ain't getting ran up. So, yeah, um, but it took a while for me to adjust to the SCIs, but the things that I, like, but, but we, but we, but we, the worst oh. things, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let's go back. Let's go back to Paula because you, we were at Paula. I want to explain to the people what type of violence inside of Paula, so they will understand, oh, so man. they don't want to go there. You know. The, the worst shit I seen, homie, was the day that this was in. This was in. This was in May, two thousand nine, two thousand nine, two thousand ten. This when DC and uh, Louisiana really clicked up. Nigga named Coco from the NO. You know what I'm saying? He used to be, you know, nigga, you know, nigga be gunning. And uh, he was hitting this bitch. He was hitting this one hoe. And a nigga Fox from D.C. lied and said he stole the nigga, but he didn't see the nigga. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We watching the play go down. You know what I'm saying? Me and Chris, we watching the play go down. The shit started behind a lot. But the nigga wanted to catch the hoe. The nigga wanted to catch the hoe, the nigga from D.C. Right. So he, he told his homies that he had them walk around the car. He finna blow a nigga up because the nigga... The nigga had that, he walked around the corner and the nigga had his joint in his hand. But the truth is, he never saw the nigga, she never saw, this is why them niggas really clicked up. But I never forget nigga, the, the nigga, the nigga, the nigga fight from, uh, from DC. He had told, he told a little nigga, he said, man, listen, man, when the, when this gate roll and y'all don't got that nigga off the yard, man, y'all, y'all telling us y'all want, y'all, 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 y'all want, y'all want this to go down. And he was talking to a little nigga named Sam, man, from 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 Baton Rouge, man. Mm -hmm. And uh, Sam was a cool nigga. And uh, Sam was like, "Damn, I fuck with you, bro. Like we like we be fucking with you, but it was other niggas from you know, like damn, nigga, this our backyard. Marlo was there. You probably know Marlo from the you know, like he he be calling and shit. You know what I'm saying? Smooth hustling nigga. Um, people was there. Chinese, uh, uh, uh fool and stupid. You know what I'm saying? Like Be stupid. All them, with, all them boys with them, and them boys were like, "Shit, it's our yard." And it was, you know, it's it, we in we in Louisiana, so you know, it's more. It's, man, it was about seven niggas. Champ had to call for DC. They were the first time I seen. I used to wonder why niggas, why niggas left. I'm like, damn, this is a little nigga, like, like, like this nigga, this nigga, they they shot caller, like, you know what I'm saying? He's a little bitty nigga. Right. Man, when it was work call, when it was when that gate roll, it was work call. My nigga was about seven niggas from DC and about forty niggas, about forty niggas from 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 Louisiana, homie. And, and, and nigga who, who 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 hear me, they know I ain't lying. And our nigga that was there, nigga that nigga child never forget. We we posted on the fence, Florida is. That nigga say what y'all y'all. That nigga that I never forget it. I'm looking at me, face silk, uh 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 uh, uh, uh big cheese, uh uh uh. uh, uh who else was that there? I was talking about all the crib, all the, we posted on the, we know what I'm saying? Like, you know, so these niggas done been being longer than us. They know how this shit go. That nigga, that nigga champ, they walking, that nigga was front and center. They shot caller. Mm -hmm. He wasn't just telling motherfuckers to do shit. He was front and center. I'm talking about when I say front and center, the first. That nigga say, man, what y'all niggas trying to wreck? Well, get the fuck out the way then. That was the nigga exact where I'd never forget that shit. So I'm looking at the homies like, nigga, like y'all, what y'all trying to be on some downside shit? Y'all ain't yo, but y'all trying. Y'all want y'all. We trying to work. All right, let's get the fuck out the way. Then that nigga was going down the road as they was marching towards them niggas. Right. When them niggas seen them niggas coming, man, them niggas took off running. Man, them niggas, them niggas scattered. I seen niggas dropping knives. Man, nigga, it blew up all over the country. everywhere niggas was. Unicorn, motherfucking commissary, barbershop, the chapel, the library. Man, they they said man, Louisiana and, and DC going at it. And man, it went down everywhere. Everywhere a bitch had a knife that nigga slide knives up all up under the door. We stayed on the wreck yard all to about that happened that morning, eight o'clock. Now we stayed on the wreck yard, cuffed on the wreck yard about six. You know what I'm saying? Damn. We stayed up to about six in the, in the afternoon, in the evening. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So all like, that all that blew up behind a lot. The whole DC and the um, New Orleans car yeah. crashed. The, no, not the Florida car, that, but the, the Louisiana car. The Louisiana like, car. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? And, that, and that, that right there, that right there taught me a valuable lesson, though, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, you, because you got niggas that go hard. And them niggas from NO, I ain't going to take nothing. Or in hand, Baton Rouge, I'm taking nothing from them niggas. Where them niggas from? Them niggas have big names and big reputations. And I'm talking about them niggas with big steppers. In the NO, they were big steppers. And that day, just that day, you know what I'm saying? You came with them all. Mm -hmm. That day right there, I watched the few control the minute. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
that's what I seen like when when with with less men on one accord and and, and, and the majority was it niggas scout a homie. It, it 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 was it was once them niggas set it off, homie, the rest of them follow suit, bro. And I, that that out of, out of 19 years or four months, that was the only time I ever seen uh uh, uh actual demonstration. No, 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 no. The 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 when they ran the, when they ran the, the, the Mexicans when they when uh, uh the the Mexican mafia or it was the Texas Syndicate, they ran they 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 got rid of the tango blast off the yard over a table in the child hall. Yeah. So the, so basically the DC car who was outnumbered controlled the New Orleans car, and then then after that after that went down they they formed the alliance. Yeah, after we came off lockdown, I remember them niggas saying that, they, and I didn't think it was gonna be so. I ain't I ain't think it was gonna be so. But then what happened was when niggas came up, niggas from Louisiana started running. Like they start feeding on this, they start beefing amongst each other. You know, it's always aftermath. Right. After you come off them lockdowns, it's always aftermath. And the aftermath of that situation right there, um, the aftermath of that situation was was niggas from Louisiana start running their homies up that was that that made it through and was was less weaker. They try to you know trying to save face, but it was obvious. You know what I'm saying? Right. It was obvious. But uh, I'm gonna tell you, it, it was, it was. I done seen the dirty white boys and the and the and the and the ABs go at it too, my nigga. Like, and that was another thing too. At Polak, I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Them crackers throughout the system, ooh, white boys. Let me be clear, the most violent motherfuckers in the in in the federal system is crackers, homie. I don't give a fuck what a bitch say. Period. From my observation. Them crackers was when it when it's go time. Them crack, especially with other races, them crackers be trying to catch bodies and niggas be trying to just niggas be like if a nigga kill a bitch is pretty much accident. He ain't going at a nigga with the intention on murdering them. When them crackers wreck, their intentions they hitting you like in with, with fight with fatal shots on. It's very select few niggas, black black niggas that that swing that knife, my nigga, with the intention on actually taking a life. Nigga hit a nigga in the body, in the back, you know what I'm saying? In the yeah. stomach and shit like that. Them crackers trying to take your ass out. And, and that's what I seen. It's like like when them crackers, you know, when they when they execute them and, and right behind them is the Mexicans. But you know, it take more for the Mexicans. There's more politicking with the Mexicans when it's work called. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Them crackers just renegades. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was they was the most violent motherfuckers. I, you know, cause I'm gonna tell you a, a, a spill. I, I put myself in some in, in a in a dangerous situation one time, uh, being young and stupid. And it was a homie, rest in peace, big homie Joe, uh, Joe Sanders, man. Me and Joe had the same birthday too. He was older than me, but he was born April 15th for both areas. That nigga, that I had them. The, the, the crackers had a TV, you know, the white boys got a TV, and then you know what we say in our state, man, white boy can't have shit. You know what I'm saying? White boy mm -hmm. can't have nothing but a war daddy and a, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. So, my mentality is, they cracker can't, they cracker can't run nothing, man, they don't get their own TV, and the cracker done took the wet pump sign and just got, you know how nigga got the BT posted, sports TV, Spanish TV, and they on their TV, it had WET. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, I'm saying like, you know, the white entertainment television. I'm like, oh, these crackers got, got, got like fucked up. So I was turning these crackers TV. <laughs> this is that code. I done turned these crackers TV about four or five times. So, you know, nigga, they don't, the cracker don't never put up on the nigga who it is. So uh, 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 one of the homies pulled up on me. was like, you know what I'm saying? I think Kibo might have pulled up on me. Then a nigga Green Eyes from California. The short green eye, CC Ryder, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, he green eye come up to me, he was like, Bob, you can't touch that. That's them cracker TV. Homie, you want to turn TV? Then turn this TV and that TV. I'm like, man, them crackers, you know, I'm running it. Man, them crackers can't have nothing. And the truth is, boy, I ain't prepared for nothing. Boy, I ain't, <laughs> I ain't ready for nothing. I don't know how dangerous life done got. Right, right. When I, when I seen, when I seen them, I seen the cracker. 
wrecking with a nigga. And I'm I'm watching, but it looked like I'm like, damn, why the cracker punching him, punching him with the inside of his fist? And then when I see the cracker actually working with that blade, I say, Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Now this is a cracker that was sitting down there watching the TV when I tempted. it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I learned my lesson about fucking with that TV, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But but just from observation, nigga told me, and I complied just because it was the home. I'm like, nah, I ain't studying that TV anyway. I'm going to go smoke something. I'm going to go get drunk or whatever. Anyway, I'm out here shooting dice or whatever uh, on the yard. Yeah. But when I seen that shit, dumb, I'm like, it wasn't, but he wasn't, they weren't going at it about the TV. It was about some money or whatever. But yeah, like I, I seen that. I seen that shit, dumb. I'm like, well, this, this shit really life and death. I never forget. I called my mama. I told her, I say, oh, man, Mark, I can feel this place turning me into something that I, I don't want to be, but if I want to make it home, I ain't got no choice. She said, man, whatever you do, don't let me want to um, hurt, hurt you. And after that, I just, it was just whatever. Now, don't get me wrong. Like I say, you know, I take my boss and bruises, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? I done got in the paint with niggas. I done won. I done lost. I done, you know what I'm saying? I done, you know, you, it, it comes with the territory. You, you, you wreck enough, you gonna lose. Ali ain't winning every last one of them. You know what right, I'm saying? You get right. in the paint with enough niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, you catch a few surprises. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, you know, it, but it was, you know, like I say, I licked my wounds, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? Got back on my motherfucking tricycle. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? Kept on, kept on pushing. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because it's gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right, you know, right. It's gonna happen. Yeah, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. So I do left pull out where you went. I went from Polar. I went to the FCI for 30 days and uh and I, I, I went over there while and, and, and because I was still in Louisiana, I went from Polar to Polar FCI. And when I left Polar FCI, they, I stayed over there 30 days and they sent me back to the pen. They knew I wouldn't they knew that I wasn't ready for no FCI. I was wondering why they kept me there. Cause I put in to go to, I put in to go to Williamsburg and, and SL because I heard that it was sweet. They got they got three, three you know how you hear you know, them stores. Yeah. But hey, in the forest city sweet, but Yazoo play is going down, bitches. So you know, I, I, I was talking with one of the homies. He was like, "Yo, what are you niggas selling zips over here for three hundred dollars?" You know what I'm saying? Yeah. At the time, I was heavy in the weed. You know, I ain't smoked now since I left the day I left Pola. I ain't since the day I packed out at Pola. November 2013, I ain't smoked, drank, gambled. You know what I'm saying? I ain't ate meat in, in, in almost nine years. In, in, in nine years, right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, I um, I you know I put in to go, and they sent me across the street, and I was I'm mad. I go over there with the bullshit. You know, my hustle was the was the liquor at the time. I was shining and shit. Mm -hmm. I had uh. Crackers had uh, Eric and Dawson had them talking how to shine. Them crackers would have got tipped if they would have. You knew back then, you know, uh, a lot of niggas didn't know how to shine. I had learned the shine game from two crackers, two dirty white boys, uh, and they weren't supposed to teach me. And they were like, bitch, you hey, like if nigga, if you ever tell a motherfucker, like, bitch, you can get us killed. Like, they, you know what I'm saying? If they found out that we taught you how to shine. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, but the crackers, uh, they, they, they drew a like it to a heavy like it to me. You know what I'm saying? Um, and they, 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 so, you know, shining was my thing. So when I went to the FCI at Polak, I go over there, you know what I'm saying? And, um, I'm like, oh, I'm going to kill him with the shine game. And, um, uh, you know, I got off a couple batches. You know how that shit go. You're going to mm -hmm. get off one or two batches. The, the third batch always get knocked off of some of the wild shit. And, uh, you know, I'm drinking half the batch and selling the other half. Just, you know, it was just that. And I got knocked off with a batch. They had just made the wine shots, 100 series shots, sent me back to the pen, sent me back across the street to the pen. You know what I'm saying? And um, I stayed over there for a couple more years. And um, from there, I went to Williamsburg. That's where I ran at the gym at. And, uh, you know, me and Jim grew up stealing bicycles and shit together. So when I get over there, I still don't know how to carry it at an FCI. So I'm there, you know, boots to the shower and, and you know, back against the wall, real brash to the point. I don't fuck with rats. Get your police at like if I, you know what I'm saying? It was just a lot of shit going down that I didn't agree with, and it was it was it was irritable for me at first. Right. But what shook me out of that was uh, 
watching all them niggas eating, watching all them niggas eating and 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 and, and, and them not like down here. The police niggas got all the motherfucking motion. You know what I'm saying? Like they ain't letting nigga up. Well, we nigga don't stand a chance. And I, you know, I ran into a few niggas from DC that I had been in the pen with, and they had motion. And because niggas knew a nigga pedigree from from the USP. That's how I start. It was it was a, it was a Puerto Rican and uh, nigga from DC. I was getting the cigarettes from the nigga from DC, and I was getting the weed from the from the from the, from the Mexican or uh, the Puerto Rican boy, and um, and that's how I was eating over there. And out the blue one day, man, they just they just came and they just came up and put me on the investigation, man, and and shipped me to shipped me to Ray Book, New York. They shipped me to Ray Book for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. just on some bullshit, bro. That was another so, FCI or that was a pen? It was another FCI. Because I didn't catch a shot, they sent me to another FCI. They just had, they just sent me, they sent me to upstate New York. So we, I'm down there in Canada. But they, what they really wanted to do was send me back to the USP. But they, they didn't have no merit to because I ain't caught no shot. So right. what they do is, you know, they put me on, you know, what they call diesel therapy. Yeah. So they're by Canada. I know it was cold as hell up there. Yeah, it was funny to me. Cause when I got up there, it was a, it was a, it was quite a few niggas from, from the, you know, it was quite a few niggas from the pen that I knew. A couple of niggas was rats, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, the nigga, the nigga Omega from New Jersey, he had a little name for himself in that blood car, and uh, but I knew he had then got ran up for being hot on some state shit. So you know, nigga trying to bring me bags and shit, trying to buy a nigga silence, you know, I'm, you know, I right, whatever, but uh, you know, I. I ran into uh, the nigga Guy Fisher up there, uh, old my good old older guy. You know what I'm saying? He ain't like talking about the past and all that shit though. Right. So I just pick his brain about a little shirt. The nigga uh, Speed Nice was up there. Um, uh, 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 yeah, it was quite a few niggas, but I, it was uh, the homie Pat from Lauderdale, uh, Haitian Pat from Lauderdale. He was up there. You know, we used to work me him, uh, Dasir, uh. Another homie from 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 uh Pompano, uh, uh Pito Pito was from from Lake Adele, you know what I'm saying? Pito was at the one, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Cold blooded soldier, like them them was the them was the niggas that I fought with. I ain't you know I fought I fought that was the most I fought with the homies on some that niggas was actually on some loyal shit. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. Like you say when you was at Cold, there's too many dudes there from Florida. It's like a big state exactly. joint. And another thing, I ain't never anytime I got transfer like I, I might go on some disciplinary shit or you know what I'm saying on a on a on, I got a near release transfer I never told him to send me back to Florida for that reason I knew that if, if I got back down there all that all of that homie shit was gonna be out the window and it, I felt like it was gonna my my temperament wasn't wasn't good enough like I wouldn't I wasn't disciplined enough to be around a bunch of niggas from Florida and and and, the, and the still, you know, hold my composure as far as like letting shit be what it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like anytime niggas from Florida get together, we would always, you know, pick up back and forth with each other. So yeah, that's what we do. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like it was a it was a lot of shit though. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, you go at it with niggas, and and, and then you realize, like like I said, like like right now. I got, I got a, a lot of my contacts, a lot of niggas from D.C. and New York call my phone, my nigga, you know what I'm saying, right now, some loyal shit, bro, putting me up on game, and whether it's the credit game, whether it's, you know what I'm saying, or I done helped them niggas, like, you know, we ate together at other spots, and the homies used to, they didn't understand. Like, I was, uh, I was in West Virginia, Virginia, and I was eating with, I was, I was eating with D.C. niggas, Philly niggas, New York niggas, but I'm not catching sack. Man, them niggas, you know, Florida niggas, one thing about us, we've always had the rep up until recently. We always had the reputation for being hustlers. So niggas didn't niggas never mind going to get the sack and to keep themselves off the scene. They will put it put the work in a nigga from Florida hands. Right. So I always had motion when I was up the road. Um I, I always had motion, you know, some some places more than others. And and niggas would niggas would the homies, they, you know they would they would be on some, but damn damn homie like 
You don't never break bread with a nigga. You don't never, like, niggas want a nigga to give them shit. Right. Like, like and, and, and I'm saying with shit, nigga, like, I ain't gonna tell you my sauce. That don't be like me telling you who my plug is. Like, I ain't never finna do no shit like that. So, I just used to make let niggas get mad. And if I had something to give a nigga, I would give it to a nigga from somewhere else. Carolina or, you know what I'm saying? Get it to my homie. Don't tell him it's from me, though. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You know, niggas will whisper. Be like, yeah, that nigga, your homie got the sack. You know what I'm saying? Nah, yeah. I just hustle with a different strategy, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, sometimes you got to do that, though, to keep the heat off you. Exactly. And, and, and one thing, another thing I did, though, because, you know, I, I kept little jewelry and little nice shit, Tim's and all this shit that niggas covet. Up and up and roll. You know, that shit, when you hustle and all that shit gonna come. Um, but I dumb that. I would dumb down. That shit would sit in my, in my locker, man. I would I would dumb my shit down and, 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 and have niggas speculating whether I got it or not. And I realized that that was, that was the best way to keep niggas. Well, one, if they speculating, oh, man, that nigga ain't got no money. Oh, that nigga got money. Oh, that nigga got, like, niggas are all, they gonna, they gonna let you make it. They ain't gonna tell on you if they, if they assume that you ain't got it. Right. You know what I'm saying? If them niggas right. feel like you don't have it, they ain't gonna never tell on you. That was one of the things that you know what I'm saying. So I, I knew the, I used to keep niggas off. But I learned that from a, from a, a, a nigga Cox. Cox Cox was in a cop. Me and we were sellies, and he was like, "Man, shit, if I can let you hustle, all they telling you is to do this, 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 and this." You know what I'm saying? Tuck your shirt in, and you know I was real, you know, young and rambunctious. You know what I'm saying? Or, or argumentative to authority just to show that I don't fuck with the police. He was like, no, nah, man, don't do that. Just yes, sir, they ass it up. Yes, sir, yes, sir. In the state, you do it. And you're you going to do it with no hour. I thought about this shit, and it didn't dawn on me till later. Like, he, you know, you walk around, you got knives on, you got a knife on, you might got two of them on you, you got dope on you. You can't stand no shakedown right now. Like, why is you starting shit with the police about tucking your shirt in? Right, right, was, right. When I got to Talladega, I realized that I was like, damn. If I took my motherfucking shirt in and keep my ID visible, I could be the dirtiest motherfucker on the compound. They're going to let me make. And I, and I did that for about three years while I was dumb. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, you and talking about cops, it's co it cops from um, Bradenton? No, cops from, cops from, cops from <clears throat> Kingsville. Okay, because I know a cop from Sarasota, Bradenton that's, that's down there. We was at SL yeah. together. Yeah, yeah, bald head old nigga. Yeah, he was, he was, he he always had motion though. He going in there, he going in there, and um um, he going to get that sack wherever he at. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he going. He was one of them ones. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I don't know if you rem if you know the homie uh, what that nigga name is, you know, man. Uh, out of Miami was uh, he was fucking with Ponder. Uh, uh, Ra No, uh, no, Ra Ra came, but he the nigga was. He was talking about what he gonna do to Rod Rod when he catch him. And it just so happened the nigga talked that shit up. He was talking all that shit. Uh not Luda, not Luda, uh uh what's this nigga name? Uh tr tr um not Trav. What this nigga name is. I see the nigga face too, man. Got long dreads, man. He was talking about what he gonna do to Rod Rod. Rod Rod came, man. That nigga gave Rod Rod, that nigga gave Rod Rod a knife for the little the little homies was trying to run Ra Ra up for being fucked up. And uh, that nigga gave Ra 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 asked me for a knife that day. And right. uh, yeah, them niggas, that nigga ended up, that nigga, the niggas ended up um, <clears throat> getting the, uh, Tron, that's that nigga name, Tron. Yeah, he, he, yeah, he did all that. But he was trying to get, it now, he was trying to get me to do something to Cox about a, well, where it was a rumor. Now me and Cox said it. He telling me, Oh, no, nah, you need to get that nigga out your room, man. You know, word from the homies out of Atwater, the nigga fucked up. And so I'm saying, well, you heard the rumor. I read his paperwork. Where the, where the, he got the light sentence. He got the light sentence because he told the police he was going to set a nigga up. Police gave him some money to go get some work. He, took the, he went to the nigga and said, look, the police gave you this bread to come set you up. But I'm letting you know they own your land. The nigga been one on the police with the bread. He stayed on the run for a little minute. I think they catch him out of Cali somewhere. I read the paperwork where he said that. Where he made the agreement to do some foul shit, but he never did it. Did the, on some by himself some time shit. But they was already on the nigga 
who he told. I read that. The people was already. So I was like, well, what you telling me? Okay, I understand. You know how sometimes niggas be re. I done seen where they done ran niggas up and a nigga don't even be fucked up, homie. Right. You had niggas. Nigga be wanting the nigga property and all that old weird ass shit. So, you know, I know he was selling. He got shit. He got motion. Niggas owing money. I'm like, bro, well, if you want something done to him, you're going to have to bring a nigga a move. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not finna do nothing to him because I read his paperwork. And from my observation, it's a great area. And you know that reading paperwork, a lot of niggas don't know how to read paperwork and they'll speculate or assume shit. So, from my observation, I'm like, well, damn, the nigga told him, he, the nigga trying to get away. They, they already own the nigga. Well, look, we want you to go back to the nigga you got, you, you be getting work from. We already own his line. Set him up. And the nigga, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I didn't, it was, it was a great area to me. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, 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 right. It was a great area to me. So I didn't, and, and then, you know, I'm young at the time. You know, these, these niggas done been down 14 at the time. I've been down about five, six years at the time. So, I'm like, man, but I ain't stupid though. I know how to read paperwork. I'm like, no, bro, like, I'm not, I'm not bringing a nigga a move by that. But then they turn right after that. You hollering about what you gonna do to Raw Raw? It was, it was just by coincidence. He was in there sweating the ticket, and Raw Raw was on the yard and was like, man, tell Tron to come out there. They done put the fences up. Him and Luda was on the fence. Raw Raw and Luda was on the fence. I go in there and I tell, I say, boy, Raw Raw out here. He was like, who? I said, man, why do I want you? And you know, he on some arrogant shit. Man, who I said, man, raw raw. Same raw raw, you were just in the bleachers talking about you gonna crush him when you get back. Yeah, like I mean when you when you run into him, he right there. So the he got mad at me for telling him that. Oh no, nah, I'm gonna put it in your face, nigga. Right, right, right. Then he go right there. This you know what I'm saying? That nigga, man, that nigga got out there, man, and jumped straight in that man's lap, man. Damn. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It'd be a, like I said, man, I got never end the stories, man. Yeah, it. man, we're going to, man, yeah, we can keep on going, man. You know, but um, I know you got stuff to do. I got stuff to do. Like true, I said, true. you got my line. You got my line. Hey, go and shoot out your, um, uh, um, your social media site, man, because you said you got some clothing, right? You got yeah, some... I got a clothing line. I got the clothing line, man. You know, like, you know, I straighten my shit up at the ass end of my beard, man. Uh, and that's another, that's another story. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? I started teaching the, uh, Stock market class, classes on the stock market, on how to read Japanese candlesticks, the castles, as well as scrimp lines and shit. Um, I also came up with a clothing line. It's called Trevino Da Vinci. You can find it on TrevinoDaVinci.com. Uh, my social media is uh, Trevino Da Vinci. On Facebook, on Facebook is Trevino, one word, Da Vinci, D-A-V-I-N-C-I. Um, is uh, Trevino, one word, Da Vinci, and then on on TikTok, on TikTok, um, uh, is Trevino Da Vinci, one word, and okay. on, on IG is Trevino Da Vinci underscore Trevino underscore Da Vinci underscore. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, man, we'll chop it up. When you gonna come down to the bay, man, to get on the couch, man? Well, right now I'm on leg monitor. Uh, right now I'm on leg monitor. Uh, they got me on house arrest, man. Uh, but I get off in Mars, so as soon as I get off, I'm beelining up there. You know what I'm saying? I got some business to take care of there anyway. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. All right. And shout out, shout out to them boys that still big, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Still trying to get that time back, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Free y'all to y'all free, you know what I'm saying? For sure, man, for sure. All right, man, we're going to holler, man. I bet. One. Easy. Yes, sir. True.